Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in Zion. You are the blessedness of the one who has called you right from the very beginning. You are the presence of the Holy God of Israel through Christ Jesus. Because in Him you live, move, and you have your being. I just appreciate each and every one of you in this hour. And I thank God for the faithfulness that you are in Christ Jesus. And the very resurrection and life that you have become in oneness with Him according to Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. For you have been crucified with Christ and it is you who no longer live today i just want to bring this word and i believe this word is going to minister to somebody out there because the lord really loves you and i know that you know it's a place where we continue to encourage the body and help you to understand that if god be for you who can be against you i want you to understand who you are in christ because you are one with him you are the resurrection and the life as he is so are you so this very day i just wanted to bring this word it's a word of uh the vindication of our god and i believe that for a number of people the lord is about to vindicate the lord is vindicating yes is vindicating is vindicating you a lot of you uh, i believe it's a time where we're transitioning to a place of resurrection and the lord is bringing a lot of things to a complete end so that you can move forward and now is the time and that time is now where the lord is releasing you from everything yes that was once holding you back in order for you to move forward the truth of it is you've already been set free yes because christ said in galatians 5 and 1 through apostle paul he said it is for freedom that he has set you free who is he Christ Jesus and I just want to read this scripture all the way from the book of Jeremiah and he says in verse chapter 51 verse 10 he says the Lord has brought about our vindication come and let us recount in Zion the work of the Lord our God the Lord has brought about your vindication today yes he has brought about your vindication why because it is time it is time for you to move forward it is time to leave where you are into the new that the father has for you it's a place where in Revelation chapter 12 the Lord has been hiding you yes you birth everything that you intended to birth through Christ Jesus you birth the ministry you birth the book you birth the music you birth all that the father has has been it has been instructing you because you have been obedient to him and now you're about to rule over what ruled you and this is the word that the father is speaking concerning jeremiah chapter 51 verse 10 the lord is bringing about your vindication yes you were slandered yes you were mocked yes you all of these things came against you and people even rose up against you to blame you for what was not your fault they looked at you and they despised you they rejected you yes you went forth as Je john the baptist but you ended up in prison for speaking the truth yes you went off as Christ Jesus but eventually you were persecuted you were slandered you were mocked and it was a place where the Bible declares that on the third day Jesus Christ rose up he rose up because it was not it was the spirit of the father that brought him back into life he says on the third day you he came out of the grave the stone was rolled away the angel of the Lord sat on it and it was the angel that what that testified about his resurrection a lot of you are coming into the place of your resurrection because you are that resurrection but that manifestation of that resurrection is coming and manifesting all around you the resurrection of your marriage the resurrection of your business the resurrection of your finances because this is the hour the resurrection and life that you are in Christ Jesus is manifesting all around you and this is the vindication that is bringing I, I just want to share this testimony to the glory of God I remember when I used to be, you know, I used to be in a place of work and um, something happened at the place of work and it was not my fault at all. No, not at all. Something happened where they ought to have placed the right things, you know, the right, what was really needed. They could have placed it where I was at that particular time. But the truth of it is, no, they didn't. You know, it had been something that has, you know, it kept on brewing, like something was waiting to happen. And on that day, it did. And no matter how much I 
told people you know i was saying to them it's not my fault this is exactly what happened but they tried to find blame oh it was your fault you could have positioned yourself this way you could have positioned yourself that way you could have positioned yourself this way and continuously and consistently every time i try to speak the truth it was being rejected they didn't want to know why because they were in a place of authority and they thought hey you know his voice will not be heard not to worry nothing will come out of that but eventually the lord made a way and he made a way and the father brought vindication somebody came and stood you know as a judge between us both and began to you know like what happened you know help me to understand what happened to you i shared exactly my testimony told the person exact the judge what happened and i said this is what happened and this is what it came to be and also in that moment in time you know they called the witnesses they called the managers everybody you know to come and sit and attest hey what what really happened they shared their testimony and you can see right there that they were lying they were speaking you know they were trying to make sure in every way that my testimony wasn't heard but to God be the glory when the judgment eventually came out the judge said you know this is the vindication that I'm giving you because your story was right they couldn't get their stories right yeah when it came to the time to testify they were confused you know this one was speaking against that that one was speaking and their stories were not matching one another so this is where the Bible says every counsel of Ahithophel concerning your life he says what it has been turned to foolishness the Bible declares that when they came and they began to witness you know they were testifying against Jesus they were saying you know what did this man really do this one was saying a report that one was giving another report eventually they began to speak that none of their reports began to march it was then i believe pontius pilate knew that all the all the reason that they were doing what they were doing was because of jealousy people have been jealous because of the lights that you are they've been jealous because of how god continued to manifest and show himself in your life they've been jealous how god has been blessing you financially you're blessing your family blessing your ministry they were jealous and they began to conspire against you for some of you you know people walked away from you it was not a fault of your own they walked away from you they said they didn't want how to have anything to do with you because they heard a report about you that was not true they heard a report about you that was totally not true because people had conspired together but today is the day that the Lord has made and we are grateful and we rejoice in it and hence the reason why he said he said in Psalm 24 and 5 you said you shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation why are you receiving a blessing because he's vindicating you why are you receiving a blessing because he's vindicating you the blessings that are was ordained to you i believe in another translation it says unrighteousness of god it says righteousness from the god of his salvation it talked about what it talked about vindication in psalm 24 he's vindicating you this is the reason for the blessing so the hour has come where you're marching out of everything that came against you you're marching out of all that there is and the father is causing your light to shine that people will know the truth that you really are they will come to know who you are truly inside of him and they will come to acknowledge that jesus christ is lord over your life the bible says in the book of isaiah chapter 49 and verse 7 and this is what it says it says israel's holy god and savior says to the one who is deeply despised have you been despised today have you been rejected most of your life have you been despised up until this point that regardless of what it is that you do people just don't want to know regardless of what you say they just don't want to hear it have you been rejected consistently yes by people who should have accepted you and loved you yes your parents should have loved you but they rejected your brothers like joseph they should have accepted you but re they rejected you and sold you on into things that you shouldn't have, have been sold into is it about your nation is it about your relatives they despised and they hated the bible declares it says israel's holy god and savior says to the one who is this deeply despised and who is hated by the nations and is the servant of rulers kings will see you released so this is the hour that the release that the father is bringing concerning your life he says kings will see it it is not something that is going to be done in private no this is what the whole world is going to see remember I, I you know and he says i will continue he says and will rise he says kings will see you release and will rise to show their respect princes also will see it and they will bow low to honor you this will happen because the lord has chosen his servant the holy god of israel who keeps his promises i remember there was a time in france there was this man i believe it was a uh, 
you know he was a uh, he was uh, it was it was someone who 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 came all the way from Cameroon or Syria Leone, one of those two countries and he, he escaped all the way to France he had been living in France you know trying to get his status he's trying to get it regular regularized but he couldn't find a way but one day you know it turned all of a sudden and this is how it turned it turned because somebody you know a woman uh, uh, the baby was hanging off a balcony and the baby was about to fall I believe from a couple of uh, 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 floors all the way up but this man had to climb the wall he climbed all the way to the top he rescued that baby and brought that baby down and reconciled that baby back to the parent the man right after that encounter the whole nation began to praise this man that wow this is a man who came and still looking for a place to stay and then he did this for a little child you know and, and in that moment he met the president you know and all the people around you know the the governors and the, the you know the ministers in France they, they, they were they were all applauding what he did they stood up for him and they applauded him and he was granted his stay he was granted his residence just because of that one act of braveness do you see he was despised before he was hated before because of the laws they didn't want him there but just that one opportunity all the kings they stood up for him they applauded him they said well done and this is the way the father is intending to honor most of you it's something maybe something's not that you have to do but he's going to honor you he's about to honor you in ways that you have never thought of before maybe it is you who have been doing the things of the father and nobody could see it this is the hour that yes people will begin to recognize because it's just one help just one word the bible declares his word was not was not will not return to him void so by that one word released over your life people will begin to bow low they'll begin to honor they'll dis they, those who despised you those who rejected you they will begin to see the glory of God over your life because this is the hour that the father is saying oh my lava he's about to honor because the garment of honor according to the book of Esther it says this is the one the king delights to honor if you read further down I believe in the book of Esther chapter 8 you will see they clothe Mordecai with a robe and as soon as they clothe him with a robe everybody began to applaud there was so much celebration that was happening yes and this is the hour that you are being celebrated because the father is vindicating you for whatever it is yes they threw you into a pit they put you in a cell they lied on you they told all manner of things against you the father has come down and now is the time that he's vindicated him your name being exalted you're coming from the back to the very forefront and those who watched you and those who rejected those who walked away this is where the father is honoring your name because your name and his name is one remember when jesus came out of the grave they tried everything to put him to make sure that he never leaves that grave they tried they put the seal everything they could they tied the grave they made sure but the angel of it the angel of the lord came and rolled it all away and sat on it as an evidence this is the evidence that is manifesting over your life for what you have been doing the evidence is over your life for what you have been doing the father is giving you the evidence of what it is that is using to honor to honor who he is inside of you because you are the blessedness of the one that has called you right from the very beginning no longer shall you be called deserted no longer shall you be called forsaken because now people are about to travel through you abundance is coming your way this is the hour that you're being vindicated from everything that came against you that you might walk into the resurrection life that you have already that he has already ordained for you this is your seated position in christ jesus so for all that you have been through get ready for your hour of vindication is now in jesus mighty name amen and amen i love you all blessings to you